Hey everyone, uh, just uh, an update video, discussion about some things going on. Not really an account update video, but just uh, here's some things I've been doing lately. Uh, you may have seen some of my new, uh, I guess, ocean landscape videos I've been putting up. Uh, maybe not that interesting, but uh, just something I've been doing lately is trying to get out and go hiking and whatnot. But uh, that's where it's from. Hope you enjoy those. Definitely watch them in uh, full HD if you can. It's uh, it's uh, pretty cool looking. The first one where I did a camera bag video, that one, I thought the subject was cool, but the waves were so loud and uh, it kind of drowned out my voice. So sorry about that. Um, been practicing with uh, Final Cut Pro 10 as well and uh, some there's some interesting things about it and so far I'm really I'm actually liking it for my purposes um, there's some things that mm, maybe are not ideal as far as image stabilization you can catch in my last uh, video that I tried to play with it and it I was handheld shot and it was a little um, wobbly and I applied the feature to use the image stabilization and just kind of made it garbled looking so that was that was a little weird um, what else so and I've, I've played with and downloaded uh, the other way around actually actually downloaded and played with the um, uh, motion and compressor tools and I have to say if I don't if I don't get an application within one two minutes of downloading and my first installed and I'm probably not gonna like it so I'm a little bummed about uh, about uh, mainly compressor and then uh, uh, to some extent motion motion seems to have a big learning curve and compressor just looks eh, just, I don't get it so it should be easier so um, more to follow on that probably needs more training what else? Okay, so knife-wise, I have been trying to carry my SNG a little bit more, and I've reached a little bit of a frustration point. I've, I've sharp. I haven't been carrying it because I needed to sharpen it, and I did sharpen it uh, the other day, and spent significant time doing it with the sharp maker, and you can tell it's. I got it pretty good. But, but, it, I am having a hell of a time with the tip and, and three-fourths section down, about three-fourths of an inch. And I know the striders are just thicker up top, but it is just dull as can be. And I am having a hell of a time actually sharpening this section. I specifically set out to try to do it, but I think I'd plunge this through a paint can and it wouldn't do anything. It's so thick. So that's a little maddening because when you want to do any kind of detailed cutting, you know, the puncture cut and down, it's so thick and dull that it doesn't work very well. So I have some more work to do on that, but it's it's actually kind of frustrating at this point. I think I'm going to have to get out my diamond rods and just, I don't know, try harder and harder on it, I guess. A little maddening. So. Uh, I've actually been still carrying the Sabenza and uh, my Surefire flashlight, which I lost for a couple days and I was really bummed out about it because I like it. And uh, so I found it again. Reunited! <laughs> and uh, and uh, so I'm happy about that. Uh, what else is going on? So um, I've been on my last hiking photo excursion I was using this uh, wireless remote capture for a number of reasons and uh, I don't know what it is but every time I take these out into the wild where there may be water a lot of sand I always seem to corrupt them they get damaged I've definitely got some in water before and that, that obviously will kill it but they're not sealed very well and this one will still, you know, light up and things, but then it goes to this red, and uh, I don't have the receiver, but 
It only works if it's literally one centimeter away from uh, the receiver, so that's kind of frustrating. And replace the batteries on both sides and all that stuff, so I don't know what's going on. I guess probably have to order another another set. Thought about getting some pocket wizards, but they're almost four hundred dollars basically to do the same thing and you know what if I get those wet what if I get those dirty and you know so I think I'm gonna keep you know buying these and if they fail then alright fine but I only I'm only investing about twenty five thirty dollars at a time so a little bummed that they don't aren't protected a little bit more from the elements maybe I'll wrap them up or something um, still, I do recommend getting these if you need some kind of wireless control of your camera. Just because they are so cheap, again, you can break them over and over again versus the $400 pocket wizards. Um, today I've been just kind of goofing around doing some tech things, trying to fix up uh, a Linux server that I have that I use for my media server, and uh, it's my central backup spot in my house. When I set it up, I was... You know, I'm not a super techie and I was struggling a little bit with getting it set up and just the nature of things at the time, I ended up having to put it on an 80 gig hard drive that had questionable <laughs> remaining quality left in it. And of course I set it up perfect, it's all running and then the drive starts to get some corruption in it. And now I gotta figure out what to do because I don't never really had a, a boot image uh, you know, an image of the entire root directory that I could uh, just move over easily to another drive and start up fresh. So I'm trying to figure out how do I get this boot drive that may or may not start again to a new drive or how do I do an upgrade to Fedora 15 and and then somehow take that new install and connect it to my logical volume volume groups that I have installed on my old version so it's you know who knows if I'm gonna figure this problem out but I still uh, still far when it's running I'm very happy with the method what else um, I found a pretty cool new iPhone application if you're into productivity tools and if you're familiar with Evernote and to be able to do synchronized notes and pictures across your different computers uh, I found uh, one that actually works a little bit better for me for what I want to do. It's called Wonderlist. It's a task management system. It's just a task list that you can prioritize, you can put dates against, you can put notes within, and then you can um, uh, synchronize it with all your devices, your iPhone, your iPad, your home computer, your work computer, laptop, whatever. So check that out again. It's Wonderlist. I'm not f affiliated with the company at all. I just a hey, cool iPhone app. You know that's that's about it. Uh, tomorrow Sunday I got a, a photo shoot coming up. Actually, a local model. Um, we'll see how it goes. Um, need to do some planning on that a little bit later today, as far as lenses and gear to take and map out the exact locations I want to use. So uh, more more data to follow on that. Hopefully, a lot of these a lot of the times the models flake. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll confirm a little, little bit later today. So uh, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for all the new subscribers, and uh, I hit a million views on my channel. So awesome! Thanks for watching. Let me know if you want to see anything else. Let me know if you want me to dive a little deeper into some of the topics that I, I mentioned today. Later.